Hey Wolfpack and friends, it's your man Wolf, how you guys doing? Today I'm going to present to you my newest build and also my first ever build video. So please bear with me, this ain't going to be perfect. But we got to start somewhere and a lot of you on my Twitch stream have been asking me to release some build videos. So the first video I'm going to show you, her name is Slam Cannon. Slam Cannon is all about one anointment. And it's one of the brand new anointments that we got. The anointment on the shield that says, on shield break, the next shot deals 100% shield capacity as amp damage. I wanted to use that. And I wanted to figure out how to use that. But first things first, before we get into the build, because there's a brand new interaction that I kind of want to introduce to you guys that from my pers from what I know, nobody's reported on this, or nobody has shown this, or no nobody may not even know this. So before we get to that, let's talk about the build. So you can see that I'm using rocket launchers. So realistically, we want to really utilize a lot of splash damage. On top of that, since we're using that shield anointment, we kind of want to get the highest amount of shield that we can, but also minimize our vulnerability so that we're not dying all the time. So this is how we did it. First, we're starting in the red tree. We're going to go with armored infantry increase our gun damage and damage reduction, which is very helpful to keep us up. We got the drowning in brass, the stacking effect to get us more gun damage. Thin red line, mo you'll see in our guns when I show the equipment, we're utilizing the 150% radiation damage while under 50% health. So thin red line in this case is getting us underneath that 50% by taking 60% of our HP and adding it to our shields. On top of that, we went with Vladov Ingenuity to get as much shield as we can. And then of course, if needed, it's also giving us some more recharge rate, which is really cool. And on top of that, we got Experimental Munition when we're doing some critical hit damage with our splash, we could all, we add more incendiary damage. And again, in that defensive kind of mind frame, I put three points in behind the Iron Curtain in case I need some shield regen just to help us get up there, right? As quick as we can. Being underneath 50% health, we're utilizing Desperate Measures. So I, I put I maxed out Desperate Measures. And you can see we're at 6 of 3, so our Blood Letter is also adding 3 more to it. We also maxed out Flank's Doctrine because that is just amazing because A, we're getting gun damage, and B, we're also getting more shields with the more stacks we have. Thus, the more killing we do, the more damage our amp shot is going to be. And then finally, we took the capstone of Tenacious Defense. The only reason why is because, hey, we got to strip our shields to get that amp shot. And while we strip our shields, we're very vulnerable because we only have 40% HP left. So Tenacious Defense is going to proc, it's going to give us gun damage, but on top of that, it's going to be adding shields back into our shield. So that's going to be helpful when it comes defensive wise. So that's our Shield of Retribution tree. Now on the bottomless mags tree, we kind of went with the basics. We went with Cloud of Lead because we're going to be shooting rocket launchers. And in, in the, this case, we're going to be doing more incendiary damage and also have a chance to not consume ammo. On top of that, we took Stoke the Embers to increase our incendiary damage. We took Scrappy because recently it got, a, uh, it got some love. It got an extra, it adding, it's adding weapon damage for us, which is the main reason why I grabbed this. Uh, and then on top of that, they also gave some love to rushing offensive. So if I'm using a Plague Bearer, or any other gun, I can be sprinting and that the damage that I'm doing while I'm sprinting is become, is coming back in heals. And as we know, we have a blood letter, so that's going into our shields. That is the bottomless mag tree. And finally, in the demolitions woman tree, we went five in fire in the skags den for again, all the splash damage we're doing, we're getting increased incendiary damage. And then torque cross promotion, we put five points in there because again, this skill got love we're getting 30% more splash damage, but this is where the risky part comes into effect. So our blast radius is doubling every, you know, 15% of the time. So what that also means in this build is we kind of have to stay mid to long range to keep ourselves safe from that blast radius because it's going to hurt and we're going to go down. So we'll have to get back up. As for gear, you're going to see I am wearing two plague bearers in my first two slots two back burners. And you can see we got different elements because we want to utilize the different kind of bars that uh, enemies can have. Uh, the main one that I use is the fire one for mobbing. 
because we're increasing a lot of our fire damage and you're going to see it does a lot of damage. Now, for the interesting part of this whole entire build, um, I'm just gonna start off though first, your grenade, it doesn't matter what grenade you use. I'm using an It's Piss because in the end I can throw the It's Piss, debuff the guys, and do more damage. And it's even really good for bossing. So that's why I have the It's Piss. But now for the next three. This is where all the fun interactions kick in. I'm gonna first start with the artifact. We have a cut purse launch pad. And I wanna focus really more on the launch pad portion first. So what the launch pad is telling us is that Slam launches a barrage of missiles. And those missiles actually home in and hit enemies. What the text is not telling us is it's actually doing melee damage. And that melee damage is triggering the cut purse. And as you can see, what the cut purse does is it replenishes the ammo of the gun that I currently have equipped, as well as my teammates. So this is gonna be really good also in a group setting because your teammates don't have to worry about ammo. But that's not the new interaction I was referring to. The new, re the new action I was referring to is if we look at the shield now. The first part of the shield says sliding into an enemy drains all shields up to, and it does it does 10,874 bonus crowd damage based on your current shield. So when I was thinking about this build and we were testing it on my Twitch stream, the question I gave my viewers was, A, how do we get rid of our shields ASAP so that we can proc this anointment? And then the next question was, once we do that, how do we get that shield back just as quick? Because we're gonna become very vulnerable. If our shield is gone and we're down to about 40% health, you kind of do the math. We're very squishy in that little point of vulnerability. And when I talk about builds that I do, I always look for the points of vulnerability because that's when you're gonna go down. And if you can minimize your vulnerability, your build can become that much more successful. So, as I was testing this shield, I was jump, I was going in and I was sliding and I was getting my amp shot and I was shooting my rockets and they were doing amp, which is exactly what I wanted. But at that time I was actually running out of ammo. I'm like, you know what? I got to get the cup, cup purse launch pad because that's going to, you know, replenish my ammo. I don't always have to run back to the vending machine and refill my ammo and we're good to go. We can keep going. But I just wasn't happy with the sliding effect. And I'm like, okay, maybe we can use a snow drift. It's going to go in quick. We can get in quick, we can get out quick, we'll be good. But then I put my launch pad on, the cut purse launch pad, and I slammed. And then all of a sudden everything froze and I lost my shields and I, I was like, what the heck just happened? And I realized that the launch pad of the artifact is not just doing melee damage. It's triggering the sliding effect. So maybe the way that the code is working is the launch pad is a special damage type that inherits melee. And a slide is considered underneath that special damage type but inherits from melee damage. So my rockets are now flying up, hitting enemies and triggering that slide, which is A, freezing all the enemies around them, including myself because it procs a Nova on myself. It does the, the cryo damage, which then that he damage comes and heals me. And then with my blood letter, it's all going back into my shield. And then the cut purse is triggering and keeping my ammo full. Thus, giving us multiple am shots back to back if you plan things properly. So on top of that, I do want to address one little thing. You, if you have the Guardian perk, come on and slam. This is going to really help you with this build because you can jump at any height and you can slam and then you can trigger the cut, the launch pad to trigger the cut purse, to trigger the sliding of the snowshoe, to get all this stuff working together. So I have it, I'm good to go. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can find some ledges or you can find a little thing to jump on to slam. Oh, and focus hard on getting your guardian ranks down to get to come on and slam Okay, the next thing before we go into the gameplay I just want to show you guys that I'm running mayhem 10 I'm in true vault true vault hunter mode and the uh, the affixes that I chose for this build And this is not a restriction just for this build But this is what I like to run with this build is I'm running big kick energy for a little bit more gun damage Healy Avenger 
so upon death, you know, you got this little heart. It's unaffects this build, so it's kind of negated. Uh, chain gain, when they're all together, they're creating chains of elemental damage. I'm trying to really stay mid to long range, so that's not even going to affect me. And not in the face is reducing my crit hits. Uh, you're going to see when I shoot a Plague Bearer, I'm not aiming for a crit spot. I'm aiming kind of like a Scourge and a Lump. You know, trying to aim it over the guys to allow your the projectiles that gets created to home in on the mobs as well as the boss to show you guys that we're not going to crit with it. And it doesn't matter. And that's okay. So, let's show the interaction. It, it's really cool. So now you guys understand. If you don't get what's really going on, I suggest to you to please rewind a little bit and under tr listen to the explanation of how the cut purse is triggering everything else. Um, and also, later on, I'll mention uh, my Twitch, but if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to come over to my stream and I'll give you the times that I stream and I can answer those questions as well as my community. So here, let's give you some gameplay so you guys can just get an example of how this build runs. So you're going to see here, we're in Athenus. We're, we got the cartel event going. So you can see we're going to jump, we're going to slam. You're going to see those rockets come up. They're going to drop down and hit. And now everything's frozen. And now we shoot our Plague Bearer. Look, it's Ant. Our heels came in from the the skirt, uh, from the uh, the snowshoe. And look, things are dying. We can do it again because we went to full. So we're going to drop. Boom. Watch the red dots on our map. See, we just got, uh, we just got almost dead there. So now we're back to full again, and there we go. So you can see that this is a lot of interactions going on at once, but they're all synergized together. And then you just show your amp. You see, that guy wasn't amped. I mustn't have had a full shield at that point. So I know we have a full shield now. We can trigger it. Rockets go up, they go down. We're gonna do it, we're amped. Our shield is now full. And look, millions upon millions of damage with the Plague Bear. So that's the gameplay. That's how it works. This build has done true takedown in Mayhem 10. I don't have any videos to show you, but you're just going to have to trust me. But you could also come to my stream and come check it out. If you're curious about my stream, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash psychotic underscore wolf. I stream Sundays to Friday, uh, Sundays to Fridays, yes, at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I stream about four hours on average. Sometimes on weekends I'll go a little, little bit longer. So if you have any questions on this build or any of my other builds, or just want to come hang out and meet a, an amazing community of positive people, and we love to do science. So if you want to bounce some ideas with us, we love that kind of stuff. So please come hang out with me. I'm going to put the link in the description. And if you're curious about this build, I have a Discord server and I will also put that in the description with a link to my Discord so that you can go and grab the save file for my PC friends so that you guys can try this build out and let me know how you do. But so thank you very much, everyone. Sorry for that. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy Slam Cannon because I know I do. And look forward to some of my other builds that I'm going to post some videos because other people are very curious on how those other builds work. Have a great day or night. Take care and we'll see you soon.